Hey, so we're about half finished uh, pulling all the garlic out of this uh, field right now. Uh, we've been at it a couple days, uh, just in our spare time when we have nothing else to do. And I've discovered I really like harvesting alliums. Um, that would be garlic, onions, leeks, things like that. There's something really satisfying about pulling them out of the ground. Um, they're quite different though. Um, the garlic, as you can see, they've got the pitchforks out because uh, the garlic bulbs form under the ground and the roots go down really far. So if you try and pull them out, um, I've pulled the top off without getting the bulbs a couple times. So you definitely need those pitchforks. Onions are much simpler. Onions grow on top of the ground and you can just reach down, grab it, and here's an onion. Yeah, that's uh, one onion. They like them large here. Um, yeah, lots of fun doing that. Harvesting's interesting. I'm, I'm doing a lot more harvesting now um, because uh, it's summer and so there's not so much planting. We're doing more harvesting. Um, I haven't talked much about that, um, partly because I'm kind of bad at it. Um, it turns out figuring out whether something is ripe or not is uh, pretty hard and pretty subjective, actually. Um, at Amara Farm, uh, I found we were harvesting things a lot younger and smaller than they do here. Here they like to let them get really, really big, and I keep getting told by the guys, no, no, too small, leave it. Um, so I'll show you some examples of that. Um, so this bean, guess whether it's ripe or not. This bean is not ripe. And this bean here is. And what's the difference? I don't really know. Um, size, I guess. Um, I guess as I've been looking at these things, um, you sort of get to know your vegetables a bit better. And so you can tell, okay, well, is, is it right because it's long? Is it right because it's fat? Is it right because it's start, starting to harden up and the, it's losing its uh, new green sheen? Um, there's all these different factors that you don't think about. And like I said, it's a really subjective judgment. Um, and I think it's kind of unique to every farm. So I'm learning that. Coming back to the garlic field, I want to share an anecdote that happened a couple days ago that really shows how far I've come uh, working with the, the other guys here. Um, it took a while to sort of get through the language and uh, cultural barrier, um, but now that I've been working here a few weeks, um, I guess they understand that I'm here to work as well as here to film. Um, so we were working in the garlic uh, yesterday and we took a break and I went in to put on a, a long sleeve shirt. Um, and uh, I came back out, and uh, Bertie said to me, Hey Devin, how is it going? Uh, well, I'm all right. You must be cold, you put on a long sleeve shirt. Oh, yeah, it's freezing. And then I hear one of the other people pipe up, That's a lie! <laughs> and it was, of course. Um, the reason I put on a long sleeve shirt is because the mosquitoes just love this garlic field. And so when you're working in it, you just get swarmed. Um, and uh, I had been making a point, I really don't like DEET, I don't like mosquito repellent, and I haven't been wearing it, and I have short sleeves on every day, whereas the Jamaicans, they're in sweat sweatshirts. I don't know how they do it. And so I've been complaining, no, I can't wear long sleeves, I'll overheat, which is true. Um, but uh, when I finally broke down and put this long sleeve shirt on for the mosquitoes, it was kind of overcast, it wasn't too hot, and I was like, okay, I'm going to protect myself, and they called me out on it. And, yeah, I thought it was a fun little anecdote. Uh, um, yeah, it's nice that we can sort of joke back and forth. Uh, it took a while to get there, and it's nice to prove that it can happen. Um, so that's all I got today. Um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more of these. Um, if you want to know more about uh, the documentary I'm making, you can sign up for the mailing list at thehandsthatfeedus.ca, uh, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Until next week.